to do, but tonight he left with no certainty he will see his grandmother again. The presidential candidate flew into the Hawaiian skyline Friday night, leaving behind him his gravely ill grandmother, suffering from cancer and a broken hip. 85-year-old Madeline Dunham, who turns 86 on Sunday, helped raise Barack Obama at her apartment on Baratania Street. Obama spent nearly every hour of his brief visit at that apartment, taking just a short time to stroll his old Makiki neighborhood this morning, stirring up excitement in the community. So I went down the road and I saw Barack walking past time. And I said, oh my gosh! Everybody's screaming, running. I looked out of the window. What is going on? I had no idea. So. Uh -huh. And Barack is here. Obama is here. Obama is here. After a quick lunch at a Waikiki hotel where he stayed the night, Obama returned to Makiki. Small crowds of well-wishers gathered and dropped off flowers and laid. See her beloved grandson be be elected president, the first African-American president of the United States. During the hours before he left, Obama was with the woman he called his rock. Then it was time to say goodbye. Obama and Camp arrived at the airport this evening, guarded heavily by Secret Service and local law enforcement. He took his time getting out of his vehicle and walked up the stairs to his plane never looking back. His flight departed just before the sunset. With a little over a week to go until the election, Obama is getting back to the campaign trail tomorrow morning in Nevada. Shane Enright, KITV4 Island Television News.